Um, the requirements for bariatric surgery are involved, and a lot of it depends on a patient's individual insurance, but all patients have to have a BMI of at least 35 or greater. Typically, insurances require some major medical condition if a patient has a BMI between 35 and 40. If the BMI is greater than 40, most insurances don't require any specific medical conditions. We have the patients go through a dietary evaluation, and they go through a psychological evaluation to make sure that they're ready for surgery. Now, nothing specifically will cancel a patient out from surgery, but we want to make sure that they're ready for it. Um, they all see myself or one of the bariatric uh, surgeons anywhere they go to make sure that they understand the options, the risks, the complications, so they have to be prepared. These patients can't go through this automatically. We don't push these patients through, otherwise we feel they don't do as well. You know, for a patient to truly be successful after these operations, it takes a lot of dedication from that patient. So we actually have them start working on things ahead of time to help them afterwards. Um, we have them taking smaller bites, uh, chewing slower, um, making sure they stop when they feel satisfied. Um, so they all work with a dietitian on these uh, issues. We have them stop smoking for at least 30 days prior to surgery. Um, smokers have a higher risk of leaks. And we want the patient in the best medical shape ahead of time. We encourage them not to go out and eat at their favorite 20 restaurants right before surgery um, because that tells me that they're not ready yet. I mean, they're, they have to have the right mindset. You know, again, they see the dietitian, the psychologist, and they, they're not telling us specifically that the patient is not a candidate, but we want to make sure that the patient's ready for it at that time in their life. If you've got too many things going on, you're not going to pay attention to the things that a patient needs to do to be successful. Uh, they work with their primary physicians to make sure that they're healthy enough and they're in the best medical shape at the time of surgery. If they have cardiac issues, pulmonary issues, uh, any other medical specialty issues, we get those doctors involved, again, to make sure that the patient is truly ready for them at the time of surgery. You know, after surgery, we don't do these operations and just let people go. They tend not to do as well. We found over the years that patients are more successful when they follow up. Uh, most of the weight loss is going to occur within the first year, but it will significantly slow down towards the end of that year. It doesn't go to zero, but it's, it's slower, and patients notice that. Patients that follow up more regularly tend to be more successful. They lose more weight and keep it off longer. With every patient, they all follow up at about a week and a month after surgery to make sure that they're progressing their diet like they're supposed to, um, they're not having any complications. We also do multiple phone calls from the hospital personnel, from our office personnel. They see the dietitian during that time. And then after that first month, we see them at three months, six months, a year, year and a half, two years, and then yearly after that. Now starting at six months, that's where we start checking some blood tests before they come in to look at their vitamin levels. And then we'll make changes accordingly if we need to.